Okay, in this part, let's create our text project and talk about advanced tools in Signware. Okay, now here I am in Cinema 4 and let's get started to create a, a very simple project. I'm going to start with um, a text, MoGraph text, and just put it in the center and change this to maybe Signware. like this and put it in the center again and change the font of it typeface and bold it a little bit and also create a little bit of depth and go to caps maybe fill it caps not too much but like this yeah, it's nice. Very simple scene. We need that. And uh, so it is good. I'm going to create um, a plane in here, uh, like a floor. We can also create floor, but we just need a very small size of contact shadow in here. And also create a sky for environment and let's add a material for our text sorry I have to add it to my text and <clears throat> go to color and in color I'm going to change it maybe to Blue, maybe. Like this. Now some reflect uh, reflection. Fong reflection and a little bit. And go to layer and add a first nil. Like this. And create a new material for plane like this or maybe we just delete the sky and add a background and add a white background here if I render that it's not white And now we have this kind of things, but we don't want to see this plane in here. So for this, I'm going to add a compositing tag in background. And add a compositing tag in here and choose composite, compositing the background. And add another compositing tag in plane as well. like this now you don't see the plane itself but once we add ambient occlusion you will see the shadow in here so i'm going to render setting and in effect i'm adding ambient occlusion in here and now if i take a render you see that we have those contact shadows in here but in an infinite uh, a space it's very nice and uh, I want to create a camera in here put it in a point of view of camera and I want to create an sky for reflection Go to just uh, check off color and reflection. Go to luminance and add a gradient in here and add it to our sky. So now, if I take a tick render, you see that 
we won't see the see a good result. Why? Because we don't want to see your environment. We just want to see the effect of our environment uh, to a reflection. So for this, I'm going to add an, another compositing tag in the sky. And uh, wait a moment, add another compositing tag and check off the scene by camera. Now, if I take a render, you would see the gradient uh, map effect into reflection area of this text, but you won't see the uh, sky uh, itself in, in, in our background. So, now create a light in here, a pint light, and put it above of it. Let me go to another viewport and change them. Put it above and maybe into front. If I take render, you see that we have a nice and simple scene. So now we have all of them. If I go to render setting and now we have ambient occlusion, if I add a multi pass in here, for example, we want to see the multi pass of reflection in here. We want to add some uh, ambient occlusion and uh, just maybe these two multi-pass rendering options. You have to check on these two and our ambient occlusion is also on now save our project, save as to desktop, text, project and save it. Now if I'm going to, if I go to After Effect and delete this one and common eye import that if I choose my project import it drag it into the timeline now we have this draft mode if I go to standard final wait a moment now once we import that we see this kind of black uh, cat out in here uh, that that it's not good at all because we have our background here so in background most of the time you we, we won't get a render uh, in sign virus so for this uh, what I'm going to do in here is create a backdrop we can also use another way that is we can simply choose our pen tool and go to front or right to right and draw this kind of things in here a very simple backdrop so now we have this and you see that we can simply put it in here let me I can simply put it in here and I'm going to refine it a little bit, select this one and just soft interpolation, make it like that and add an extrude, put it underneath of this and extrude it. Zero, find it. In this direction and we have to flip it, flip it around like this we have to do it uh, at the first but it's not problem most of the time you will get this kind of result we have to fix it and and add the subdivision surfaces to make it smooth. Uh, 
and also maybe drag it above. Now we have it. So if I drag this render you see that it's nice but make it very near to this one like this so now we have this and just save it go to After Effect and wait a moment you see that now we have all of those final output in uh, After Effect with all of those reflections. So now I'm going to uh, just um, add a Cinema 40 multi pass in here and uh, just uh, click on multi pass in here and which one you want to uh, add. For example, I'm going to add ambient occlusion multi pass. Now you just see the ambient occlusion multi pass and you can uh, simply uh, duplicate it. For example, duplicate and add another multi-pass reflection and you can combine it with a screen like this you can do it but uh, you can also uh, just uh, you can also uh, click in here and that all of those uh, multi-pass rendering options will uh, add, add it into your timeline uh, without manually without without doing that manually so I'm going to just take check off this and put it above now if I off this you can see different multi-pass options in here we have that you see that we have global elimination that we don't have global elimination on in our uh, render router in here but it's already created in here as a as a as a as a um, layer, but it's not affected because we don't have them like this. You see that, and it's very cool. And a lot of scene. I want to I want to delete this and just create a camera and centralize comp camera. I can simply change my camera view in here. Now you see that it's a little bit slow because we have a lot of multi-pass options. We have a lot of things in here and we can also uh, change it to software to set our uh, point of view very fastly like this. like this and now put it into software final and you have the final result and you can add some some adjustment layers everything you see everything uh, that you want you can do with this effect controls for example curve and simply adjust it the color correction of it like this and add other uh, any other things and take render out there from Adobe, Adobe from Adobe After Effects so that was it hope you guys enjoy from this tutorial and uh, don't forget to subscribe for new tutorials uh, in motion design in uh, 3d animation and UI and UX design uh, please uh, leave your comment below if you have any suggestion or uh, whatever tutorial you want me to make or things like that just put your comments below uh, we will see you next time